You really get a sense that the sun has just dipped beneath the horizon line and it's making its final gasp and you've got this final shock and flash of brilliant light before it disappears entirely. For me, the brilliance of Claude Monet's paintings lies in their timelessness. There is no way that someone unversed with art history would look at Monet's paintings now and think 1800s. He was so completely unmoored by his own context um, and he showed total disregard for the linear progression of art history. And there's nowhere that you see this more than in his paintings from the 1880s onwards, where figure completely disintegrates and his idiom becomes one of near total abstraction. Our painting uh, was executed in 1882 and depicts Portville at the beach on the Normandy coast. 1882 was the year of the seventh Impressionist exhibition in Paris and Monet submitted 35 paintings to it and it was a huge triumph. And it's in the immediate summer months after that spring exhibition where Monet returned to Portville and completed these series, including our work. He returns to this scene with this renewed sense of purpose and confidence in his progressive vision and pushes it even further. It's inconceivable to me that we would get the greatest examples of expressionism from the next century without the example of Monet. He and his unique vision utterly transformed the way that we see things and the landscape of our visual values forever. While you have Monet completely dismantling painterly traditions and submitting to abstraction, Fast forward a hundred years and you have painters rethinking and rebuilding visual languages. And here we have Tom Wesselman as another highlight of our sale, showing us how to rethink form and figuration. Executed in 1983, bedroom painting number 73 presents the visually captivating power of Tom Wesselman's iconic nude as a window into another world. The present work is part of a series of 78 numbered paintings, exploring new compositions that are based around the female form. In the present work, there's an almost complete removal of the corporal form, a vital development in the artist's oeuvre that initiated departure from the more traditional female nude and allowed him to really delve into more novel representations of the body. Bedroom painting number 73 is a teasing vignette of an interior scene, zoomed in so far as to almost be unidentifiable except the outline of the breasts and a few curls of blonde hair peeking in at the edge. Forming part of the artist's wider dropout series, where he literally cut out parts of the composition. Here, the woman's breasts are partially cut out and defined instead by the space outside the framing edges of the work. The 1980s were a major turning point in Wasserman's vast and varied artistic career. The Wasserman began to shed his earlier association with the pop art movement and their preoccupation with consumer products. And instead, he looks to masters like Henri Matisse in his exploration of color, line, and pattern, as well as contemporaries like Frank Stella and Keith Noland, who use shaped canvases within minimalism. Bedroom painting number 73 utterly encapsulates the essence of Wesserman's artistic adaptability, continuing to probe the depths of popular culture for his entire career, and establishing a style that has continued to provoke and entice audiences the world over.